Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Um, I did not have much time this week to record anything, um, but I have some time uh, right now. Um, just wanted to remind you that our giveaway is underway where you can get this HP motherboard. You can see um, more details about it in the previous video. I'm gonna put a link here. Uh, so please uh, go there, uh, subscribe to the channel, comment, and uh, you have a big chance to win this since there's not a lot of comments on the video. Uh, I will be posting tomorrow the video. It will be in less than 24 hours. So you still have a chance to win it. So go ahead. Um, <clears throat> let me move her away. So today um, it won't be a long video. As you remember, remember from last time, uh, I wanted to give this case to my fa father-in-law because it's great, it's small, it's compact, it looks nice. But we came to a problem because this um, case is smaller than usual and it has a small uh, power supply and it does not have enough connectors for his um, GPU so uh, and it's too weak for the GPU so uh, we can't use it so that's why I was at the flea market again and I bought one PC there and I bought one PC uh, in the classified ads and it has a nice case so today we will um, we will take a look at the PC of my father-in-law and the other PC which I bought um, I mean to transfer his motherboard and everything to that new case so we'll, we, we will be moving this one on the side it's a shame because I really liked it but okay so we will first take his PC and I'm gonna show you what he meant by saying that it's falling apart you can see these plastics are broken so they're always falling falling in this is glued because it's broken for the plastic from inside and the whole um, front panel is moving because the plastics are broken so uh, that's why I wanted to change it to something better um, before showing you the new case that it's going in I must say it's nothing special actually I'm gonna put it on the side here so you can see it this is the new case it's nothing uh, fancy but he just wants it to be firm to be you know in one piece and that's all so we will be uh, turning on his PC today so you can see what's inside we're gonna take a quick look and then we're gonna test the other PC and uh, then transfer all the parts from his old to uh, the new case so let's go did a bit of changing on my table and I placed a power supply under the table so I can use it as my test bench power supply uh, easier and I moved to the side to the wall so we have a bit changed let's go ahead and open his case and see what's inside so as you can see it's pretty dusty but that's never a problem um, let me get you closer so he has a, a ms platinum 400 watts uh, power supply it's an amd cpu we're gonna check out which uh, there's two uh, ram sticks i can't see it from here we're gonna start it up and check it out he has two um, hard drives and um, cd-rom and we have a gpu here that looks pretty pretty nice so this is the pc let's start it up and see uh, 
what's what's inside we won't be entering the windows it's working we'll just enter the bios and <coughs> see what's there okay since it has dvi cables we need to use a dvi adapter let's run it yeah, even the button for turning on the PC does not work well. Um, I have uh, two VGA cables connected to this um, monitor and I have a switch for them which is located here. Uh, so I forgot to switch that. So. so F1 to run setup, system information. So it's Atlan 2 X2 250 processor. I thought it was A8 or something like that, something newer, uh, build date 2010. It has 8 GBs of RAM, that's okay, that's good. And he has two Hitachi hard drives, I think they're both 250 gigabytes. They don't, they don't even need anything bigger, but if they'll need it, it's easy to upgrade. And an Asus uh, DVD drive. So, that's it for it now. We're gonna take it out of the case now and um, check the other case to see what's in the other PC and then we're gonna transfer it out in the other one. Okay, let's go. Not too dirty, but we're gonna clean it up anyway. So HD four eight three zero five seven five M five hundred and twelve megabytes. He's using it uh, for playing World of Tanks, so it's XFX. Motherboard, I mean the GPU, uh, worked well for him, so we're gonna put her aside too. And yes, we will have to clean her. This is all dust. So the motherboard is ASICS, ASUS M4N78 AMD board, um, it has 4 RAM slots, power for motherboard, has 5 SATA, 1 IDE, 3 PCI slots, 2 times uh, PCI Express X1 and one normal PCI slot, PCI Exp Express slot. Um, here we have a serial keyboard, um, two USBs made especially for mouse and keyboard. Um, this should be 3.0 USB, two regular ones. Um, is this is SATA? I'm not sure. We're gonna check it out. Um, this is LAN connector and lots of sound connections. So this is a good board. I do really like it. <clears throat> so uh, we'll clean her up and we're gonna put a new thermal paste on the PC. So everything will be ready for him to use and to, to game. <laughs> So here we we are here with the next one. Yeah, 
as you can see, it's nothing special, nothing luxury about this case. It's super power, has a DVD drive, um, two USB ports and sound and microphone here, power is set and a hard disk LED, there's a power LED here, oh, just nice solid. Um, let's open it, as you can see, it has a lot of um, vents for uh, the PC to breathe, so, oh look what we got with it, I don't know if you can see, we got the VGA, DVI to VGA um, adapter that we already used today, so we're gonna take it off, okay, so there's a GPU here with two DVIs and one S video, modem card, and let's see the motherboard. So, has four USB slots, and again, a bit better uh, sound card, uh, keyboard mouse, port, serial, something was supposed to be here, but it's not, and of course, a LAN port. So, there is a power supply. Let's open it up and see what's inside. I don't want to guess because uh, four USB slots, ports can mean anything, so I really don't know. Okay, that's true. Okay. It's an AMD board. As you can see, it's K9N Neo version 2 MSI board. It has an um, additional GPU. Let's see which one is it. It's HD2600 Pro, 256 megabytes. Nice, nice, nice. We have a hard drive here. Um, to Kingston, it's DDR2, 1 GB each, so 2 gigabytes of, um, of RAM. As I can see, all the capacitors look good. Yeah, it has four SATA ports on it. Power is connected. The power supply is a bit dusty, but it looks okay. I'm looking to see which brand it is, but which brand is it? But it seems like some no-name brand. I know one of our subs my subscribers told told me to test the power supply before um, turning it on, but I'm so lazy and. I just want to start start it as soon as possible, so let's hope for the best. I guess I never had a problem with it with it destroying a motherboard, so that's maybe why I'm not so concerned. So let's run it. There was a sound from the power supply but like something was inside so you can see the screen it's working let me take the keyboard it's Atlon 64x2 dual core 4000 <clears throat> everything seems to run nice there is some dust over there um, let's run setup. So we have a Western Digital 5000 AA KX uh, and OptiArc DVD drive plus the floppy drive. System information. Yeah, as you can see, uh, Atlon 64X2 dual core uh, at 2.1 gigahertz and 2 gigabytes of RAM, uh, Kingston, as I told you. 
let's see if it will boot up to Windows. <coughs> Everything seems okay. So, there it is. Working fine. Still loading stuff. But other than that, everything looks okay. Everything is here, so that's good. System properties, yeah, everything is here. So, this is it from this PC. Uh, I'm gonna turn it off now and we'll just switch. Um, the main board from the other PC to this one, to the case, and then we'll have a quick look at the motherboard. This is what I call a lot of dust, don't you? Dude. So, HD Pro. You know, when somebody tells you there's some du dust in the PCI ports, this is the case. Awful. Oh. So, this is our motherboard. On the first look, everything looks okay. So, we already uh, watched and looked at the ports. Um, it has four DDR2 slots, power connector for CPU and motherboard, IDE connector, four um, SATA connectors, has the same as the motherboard before, two, uh, I mean one uh, big PCI Express and two PCI Express X1 slots, regular PCI slot, and Small ID, and that's about it. Oh, it has a sticker. Okay, that's it from her. We're gonna clean her up and make her look pretty again. Let's put her on the side so we can transfer the, the father-in-law's PC inside. I mean, his parts. We will take out the power supply and put his back inside. So, this is it. It's 400 GB Western Digital. Um, should be 7200 RPMs. Does not say here. But I'm sure it, it, it is. Actually, not a lot of dust. Though. In this case, it's well made, so I'm happy. It's going to be used still. Cool it down. Uh, there's a bit too much paste, but that nothing serious. Let's just wipe that and clean the cooler.
So, the PC is working and everything is nice. We're just gonna close the case and it's going to my father-in-law. He's gonna be happy with his old new case. And let's just close it up. So this is it for today guys, new case is ready, um, just wanted to remind you that a giveaway is underway where you can get this HP motherboard, you can see um, more details about it in the previous video, I'm gonna put a link here, uh, so please uh, go there, uh, subscribe to the channel, comment and uh, you have a big chance to win this since there's not a lot of comments on the video. Mm -hmm.